Hey guys, how you doing? Cigar Prince here. Today, I've got a surprise for you guys. Very, very special cigar. Just in the car, I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna show you guys. This this thing just blew my mind because I've never, I never knew that cigars were produced in this region. So that's a little bit of a tip. Um, Lo and behold guys, so this right here is a Calixto Lopez. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it's a cigar that's been made in Philippines since the 1800s. My mind was blown, I never knew <laughs> Filipinos produce cigars. So this one's uh, pyramid shape. I like the format. Look at the construction on this baby. It's very nice and smooth. Looks like it's been aged a long time, even though the box actually said May 2019. So it's a few months old. Very different than many of the Cubans. The quality of the tobacco that's grown in the Philippines is just very different. It's paper thin. There's some veins on here, but you can't really tell they're there. Almost has a cardboardish kind of quality. I hope that doesn't translate into taste. <laughs> uh, but very nice format. Very nice looking cigar. Cool band. Take a closer look at that band. This is handmade and then imported, and it's Filipino. So maybe it'll taste exotic. And very cool. It was a pyramid shape. I cut it earlier. I pre-cut it. I was going to smoke it and then I said, ah, I'm, I got to do a review for these guys. I got to show them. I don't know if too many people have seen these around. It's definitely something very new for me. So I'm going to light it up right now and then I'm going to let you guys know what my tasting notes are. So guys, middle of the first third, what am I getting? Right up front, there's a, like a nice lemony kind of a flavor that coats your, your mouth. There's some acidity in there. The smoke quality has nice plumes of smoke, but it's not very luxurious. It's kind of a lighter smoke, lighter body cigar, lighter strength. Very, very pleasurable. I'd imagine this kind of a cigar, like especially in warm weather, like really hot tropical weather, this would be amazing. This would go nicely with, uh, you know, Mexican beer, for example, not not those equis that crap, but like uh, with Corona and a lime, this would be mint on the beach somewhere. Very very nice cigar. There's a nice vegetal quality that's there too. It's kind of uh, almost like bay leaf. Uh, it's almost like kefir lime leaves. It's kind of there. There's there's a little bit of acidity that comes from that, that little lemony flavor, and the aftertaste is nice and smooth. It kind of coats your tongue with a nice smooth sweet kind of flavor. Um, so I just I saw the like pleasantly surprised that cherry flavor that it shares in common with uh, Romeo Julietas. I find that adding that to this that sour quality is just really something very different. Really impressed with this cigar so far. I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and I'm gonna come let you guys know what changes. See you soon. Guys, come check out the band on this. Nice simple band. <laughs> this band evokes laughter in the streets. <laughs> it's got a nice knight's helmet on there. Some uh, olive leaves, ol olive branches. Very nice and simple. It's not embossed or anything like that, nothing fancy. But very nice. Getting into the second third, guys. Very nice transition. I actually got some chocolate in there. Very light milk chocolate, kind of a mixture between chocolate and. Uh, and caramel very very nice adds that sweetness a little bit more of that sweetness uh, to that aftertaste pretty much grew into chocolate milk chocolate and, and caramel it balances that sourness quite a bit very nice cigar it's quite complex pleasantly surprised I'm gonna smoke it down some more uh, and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know what's happening but look at the construction on this I want you guys to take a closer look so you can see 
quality of the wrapper. Very nice, very smooth, it's very thin. The cigar has a beautiful draw. There's some veins that you can see in there, but they feel like they've been fermented and stretched like crazy, so they're really very nice and smooth. We've got about an inch of ash there, it's holding up really nicely. Nice white ash. The burn is actually really good. There's a slight breeze out here, but it's still keeping up. Check out the smoke output. Very, very nice quality of smoke from this. Very light, very smooth. Um, I'll be back soon, guys. Hey, guys, so I'm back, last third. <clears throat> right at the bend. This cigar has turned out to be a really, really surprising, amazing cigar. I highly recommend this cigar if you ever find a Calixto Lopez Pyramid. Damn good cigar. Very complex. It started off with those lemony kind of flavors, vegetal with some of those leaves and stuff, kefir lime leaves. Uh, midpoint started to get into the sweet milk chocolate with a little bit of uh, kind of a cross between milk chocolate and caramel getting to the last third I started getting some almonds in there roasted almonds very very pleasant it went from being very light to let's say light to halfway between light and medium towards the end which is expected it gets a little stronger as it goes but still very very pleasurable great cigar for coffee I actually went and picked up a coffee with some uh, peppermint in here those two flavors really worked out really well. This would be great for nice tropical climates, sitting at the beach, smoking a uh, nice cigar, beer, nice light lunch, something along the lines of some kind of Southeast Asian food. Would go really amazing with this, Thai food or something like that, something nice and light. Beautiful cigar, really impressed. If you guys get a chance to smoke these Calixto Lopez Pyramids, highly recommend it, very nice cigar easy to smoke beautiful draw nice construction burnt perfectly the whole way through it actually had two and a half inches of ash before I ashed it which tells me that this cigar was really well constructed very nicely put together um, so there's my review guys I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and turn it into a finger burner hope you guys have a great weekend I'm gonna have a nice time walking around and getting some exercise after that heavy dinner um, I'll see you guys soon cheers peace